The following program is rated MALSV. It contains strong language, sexual situations, and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. Finally, show with the balls to call it like it is. Rated R Safety Show on Safety FM. Forget the corporate bullshit. This is the Rated R Safety Show with your host, Dr. Uh, it doesn't matter who the host is. What is that? Uh, wrong show to stop that. Well, hello and welcome to the Rated R Safety Show. You know that until this point, I have never mentioned who the host is. <laughs> uh, hmm. I wonder why that is. Anywho, how are you? Well, 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 how was the overnight for you? Did you have fun? Did you do anything that was fun, 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 and maybe even funny? And we won't ask about anything else that you might have done. In the overnight. So I was looking over some of the electronic files that I have received as of late in regards of people ranting. And the funny part was I had someone who did a guest host spot. And what do I mean by that? I mean, they hosted their own full episode of the Rated R Safety Show. It's a nice little show. I was really shocked. I was pretty impressed about what's going on. But then I continued going down the path and I came to the realization right away that I have several people that have ranted, but not in the fashion that I was looking for. And what do I mean? They sent me paragraphs for me to read, not for them to read. So it puts me in a weird spot as we move forward because either I can sit here and read the rant, which you know, and I know it's not that much fun. It's kind of boring hearing the same thing about me bitching. (laughs) I already do that. You know that. I know that. So I'm trying to devise a way to make this a lot easier for you and I. I'm telling you, I will do voice protection and some people don't fear or let me rephrase that. Some people don't feel that that's enough. (laughs) I don't know. I think I've been doing actually the versionality of the ones that we have been doing. As a very well protected voice thing. I'm a jigger, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, let me take a drink real quick because my throat is killing me. Oh, I have to tell you, <laughs> I have two very, very, very popular energy drink people that are trying to come after me at the moment. I don't know. I think they both taste the same, but that's just my opinion. And maybe I shouldn't say that with them attempting to be uh, sponsors, but. Do you really want a sponsor on this? I got some flack for actually putting a commercial yesterday in the dead middle of the episode. Um, My hosting platform has highly recommended it. But let me not bore you with that shit. And let's get started with the news. This show is almost as enjoyable as hearing the sound of the toilet flush. Rated R Safety Show on Safety FM. More sarcasm than a Mortal Kombat beatdown. Rated R Safety Show. Here is the news on the Rated R Safety Show. Oh, the news, 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 news. Of course, today, just in case if you weren't aware, is Tuesday, August the 20th. Oh, yes, of the lovely Leah of 2019. It is day 232. Yeah, I'm going to remind you once again that you only have 133 days left before the year's over. Is that good or is that bad? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) 
So let's take it from the top. The Washington Post reports that the White House officials are mauling a short-term cut in payroll tax to boost the economy ahead of the fears of the slowdown. The rate dropped two points temporarily during the Obama administration, but has restored to 6.2 in 2013. Of course, not a safety-related story, but something you want to know because, you know, that tax shit actually affects everybody. Now, here's some interesting stuff for you relatively quick. It's been a shaky week for Kansas and Oklahoma. 65 earthquakes have registered in two states in the last week. Yeah, you heard me bright and clear there. 65 earthquakes over the last week in two states. I would be scared. Uh, (laughs) They've ranged in the magnitude from 24 to 4.1. That's not enough to do any real damage, according to the news story here, but it is certainly enough to mess up some bookshelves or a mantle. Well, I'm going to tell you, if I was sitting somewhere and the room started shaking and I'm just kind of sitting there and out of the blue it starts happening and I'm not on a ride at one of these freaking theme parks, uh, I might be a little freaked out. And I know that some people say, hey, um, you live in Florida and hurricanes come up. But you know ahead of time when those things are coming, uh, the earth shaking beneath your feet is a little bit scarier. Duh. So did you hear this new story that's coming out of the Daily Beast? Yeah, I did say that correctly. The Daily Beast highlights a report indicating that children who are born to mothers who drink fluoride water have lower IQs. The report says that the boys of mothers with the most fluoride in their urine had IQs about three points lower than boys of mothers who had at l- the least amount of fluoride in there. But other researchers say that the results are statistically borderline and far from conclusive. So let's see. If you drink the poison bullshit water that you normally can get a hold of, your kid's going to be less smart, according to this. Hmm. So what are you supposed to do? Buy bottled water? And now we have to be more specific because you want to buy non-plastic bottled water. It has to be glass bottled water. And as you know, that shit's expensive. Or do you do the filtration system? So do you think the IQ issue is a safety issue or is this me just ranting to rant and talking to talk? And I haven't spoken about this, but you are aware that if you live here in the United States of America, there was a gentleman by the name of Jeffrey Edder. Let's try that again. Jeffrey Epstein that apparently killed himself. The New York Post reports that he signed his will two days before hanging himself on August the 10th. On paper, he was worth, are you ready? $577,672,654. The will is pretty basic. Everything goes into a trust, which ensures more privacy for those who will be benefiting from his estate hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. i don't really feel comfortable commenting on that story and it's not that i don't have the balls to say it as it is i just don't really have much to say i don't think that this is something that is really beneficial to me to talk about because it's not safety oriented and according to quote unquote the guy had some issues um related to children and molestation and raping and all that kind of fun stuff allegedly so i don't know what to tell you because i only have limited information so you probably watch twitter and facebook and all this did you see the new york times reports that facebook and twitter have identified misinformation campaigns on their social networks in hong kong oh yeah you heard me correctly there hong kong it flagged an account that originated in China, where Facebook and Twitter are banned. So take a look at that one. That accused freedom protesters in Hong Kong of acting violently and maliciously. Those two social accounts have been shut down. So that's a different twist from what has occurred in the past, according to information that's available on the web about what has occurred here in the glorious United States uh, during the election. I didn't I didn't say one thing or the other. I'm just saying information that's available online and not everything that's online is accurate. What? Yeah, not everything that's online is accurate. What? 
Yeah, you heard me both times. So the next time you go to Italy, be careful. It is illegal to take sand from Sardinia. Sardinia? Is that like a place where they harvest sardines? (laughs) The Italian island known for its prestigious beaches, a law passed in 2017 that made it illegal to trade in sand, pebbles, or shells. If you do, you can be fined up to $3,300. Now a French couple faces years of jail time after sneaking, get this, 90 pounds of sand out in bottles. They say it was only the way that they could remember their vacation, but authorities suspect that they were hawking it online where there was a robust sand market, apparently. What the freak would you be doing with 90 pounds of sand to remember your vacation? Come on, man. I don't buy that. I remember something that they used to say in RoboCop. I'll buy that for a dollar. Yeah, I don't believe that shit. Why would you need 90 pounds of sand? So do you put that in your suitcase? Do you get that on the plane? How the hell does that work? Then some more news, probably not stuff that you want to hear, but stuff that we need to talk about. There was 21 new measles cases nationwide last week. Oh, yeah, that's 21 new cases. That brings the year to date. Oh, no, 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 to 1,203 in 30 states. This is the worst outbreak of the measles since 1992. Well, shit. This could potentially be a problem. Outbreak 30 states, 1,203 measles cases to date. Well, 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 I don't have a list of all 30, but man, I can imagine which ones are going to be on the top of that list. Some other interesting and kinky news going around around there. Astronomers believe that they have witnessed a black hole consuming a neutron star. The incident recorded on April the 14th was 8,550 million trillion. Oh, yes, that's what it says on this news story. Million trillion miles from Earth. Million trillion. (laughs) Due to the speed of light in the immense distance, this happened about 900 million years ago. Think, okay. Did I just break your skull with that one? Did you just go mind blown with that information? So due to the speed of light and the immense distance, this happened 900 million years ago. Talk about getting the news late, huh? Wow. Did you hear about this kid, Diesel? I'm going to mess up his last name. Perpet? Perpet? Can somebody get me a read on that? Diesel Perpet is only in the seventh grade, but has the future as a philanthropist, he has earned $15,000 from selling livestock at the county fair and has donated it all to the St. Jude's Research Hospital. A Facebook post by the organization thanked the young man. His donation of $15,000 will help find cures for children and save lives. Diesel, all joking aside, you truly are a hero. And boy, if you ever want to come on here, doesn't have to be the rated r show you can always come on and we can talk about what you want to do especially only being in the seventh grade you're something to be admired i really do appreciate what you're doing out there anyways let's continue with the craziness of the days that we can celebrate here on this lovely day of the 20th of august now i have to tell you when i read some of this stuff i go what the hell are people thinking so here's the days that you can celebrate World Mosquito Day. So what the hell are you going to do? Go out there and get bit? I'll tell you, when I go outside, I have been categorized that I have sweet blood. And those things eat the crap out of me. I will tell you, I have been swarmed by these things. I remember I was out with my wife and we went out to a park and these things swarmed on me. She said that she had never seen that many mosquitoes at one time. Anyways, let me not bore you with that. Chocolate Pecan Pie Day. I'm going to be... um. Enjoying those festivities for sure. National Bacon Lovers Day, another thing that I will take advantage of. 
International Day of Medical Transporters. Okay, whatever. National Radio Day. Oh, yeah, baby. Woohoo! National Radio Day. Enjoy it. I love it already. National Lemonade Day and Romance Awareness Month. Now, you see, this is the crap that pisses me off because when I started to pull up this information, nobody said anything about a month. They said today are the days you can celebrate, not Romance Awareness Month. And what state is it? Isn't it Virginia's for lovers? So do they celebrate that shit all year long? Anyways, you've been listening to the Rated R Safety Show. I know who you are. You know who I am. Love you. Mean it. Bye. Duh. The views and opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the host and its guest and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the company. Examples of analysis discussed within this podcast are only examples. They should not be utilized in the real world as the only solution available as they are based only on very limited and dated open source information. Assumptions made within this analysis are not reflective of the position of the company. No part of this podcast may be reproduced, stored in a retrieval system, or transmitted in any form or by any means, mechanical, electronic, recording, or otherwise, without prior written permission of the creator of the podcast, Jay Allen.